Hello everyone and welcome to weather on this Friday. Let's check with your weather headlines. Earlier on Friday afternoon, Ian made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane along the coast of South Carolina in the southeastern U.S. at 2.05 p.m. Meanwhile, the record river flooding will continue across central Florida through next week. And following landfall in Cuba on Tuesday, swells from Ian have finally subsided around Cuba. Now to the satellite image, here's Ian after making landfall. Ian is now an extra tropical low, having lost its energy source from the warm Atlantic Ocean. And as it heads further inland over North Carolina and Virginia, Ian should weaken rapidly in the cool air, anticipated by early Sunday. Now here over the Eastern Caribbean, conditions have settled as the trough heads northwards to the Leeward Islands. Now turning toward home, today's high hit 31.3 degrees Celsius at Crown Point in Tobago. And here in Trinidad, Piaco reached 32.4 degrees Celsius for today. Later tonight, those in Tobago can expect a nighttime low of 26 degrees Celsius with generally settled conditions with just the isolated shower. And over in Trinidad, you too can expect a minimum temperature of 24 degrees Celsius with those similar nighttime conditions. Into tomorrow, Tobago can get some sunshine relief tomorrow with a generally hot and sunny day with a max of 31 degrees Celsius. For Trinidad as well, Saturday is looking like some fun in the sun with just the likelihood of few showers in mostly hilly areas. You can expect daytime high of 33 degrees Celsius for tomorrow. However, factoring the humidity, it will feel like 36 degrees Celsius. Now into the outlook for Sunday, keeping with those generally hot and sunny conditions with the likelihood of a few intervals of showers, mainly during your afternoon. And there is also a low 30% chance of isolated thunderstorm activity favoring Trinidad for Sunday. Then into Monday, it looks like we should watch for those partly cloudy to cloudy skies with periods of showers, also a medium 40 to 60% chance of thunderstorm activity. To the seas now, sheltered bays are still smooth, choppy near showers, and seas are now slight with waves up to 1.3 meters. Now for your recap, as October rolls in, remember we have another two months to go during this hurricane season, so keep prepared. Back to you, Keisha.